We're at Paul Henry's Art Gallery in downtown Hammond celebrating art and artists. Clearly, all kinds of artworks are displayed all over this place, all Northwest Indiana or local artists. But we're here specifically on a Thursday night when they celebrate the artists themselves with a very special open mic night. If you look at it from the outside, it's a totally anonymous hardware store but uh, inside is where the magic happens. It's just like the, the beating heart of the Northwest Indiana art <laughs> <laughs> That was really hokey. <laughs> Dave Mueller is the owner. I, I want to call you owner, but it seems like it should be something more. What would you call yourself? Oh, I'm, you know, the community builder community here builder. At, at Paul Henry's. We, we've got a great community and encourage the development and, and the careers of various artists in all kinds of forms. You are set up here in what was a, an old um, t tool shop, like a hardware store? And like a hardware store, like an automotive paint store. It was... Um, and, it, and, it, and it said to you, art gallery? Well, what happened, you know, I got to be honest with you, is I didn't know what we were going to do when the previous business, which had carried us for a long time, uh, we kind of lost, lost out on it. So. You know, at the end of those things, normally a business will just go under and out. And uh, we were able to push through that point and begin something new. For a number of reasons, I chose art, not the least of which was that I enjoy it. I love this place. It's, uh, it's like um, church for artists. When I first came here, uh, I didn't know anybody and I walked in the door and I thought this is the most amazing place I've ever seen and I wanted to be a part of it and I kept coming back and made a lot of friends and my art got accepted into the gallery and it's pretty much changed my life very much for the better. It's the people that's the draw, that's the draw and you come here and you greet the people and they're warm and they're friendly and very kind and caring and that's the thing, that's the thing for me. When I came through the door, it was like, what a wonderful place. It has a different atmosphere than any place around. The people, you know, they bring in the food, and, and it's and everybody knows everybody. It's one big family here. Uh, and why will I travel an hour to come out here? And it's really because of Dave and the people, and when watching the food come through the back door, and getting a song every couple, couple of minutes, and doing it, and just seeing a whole another vibe, a whole another atmosphere every time you come to this place. It really has developed a tight-knit feel to it. Yes, indeed, almost like a family. And no, I didn't anticipate that. I thought it'd be cool to do and, and we'd attract some interest, but it's gone way, way beyond that. Well, I've actually got a whole extra family here. I mean, the friendships that I've made are that close. You know, you're not the first person to say that Paul Henry's feels I'm not surprised like it's, to hear that. it's a community, it's family, and if you come here often enough, you get to be part of the extended family as well. That's the deal, yeah. I also don't want anybody to know about this place. <laughs> okay, so, so, you know, do the story, but don't do it that yeah, good. Yes, 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 but the point is that anybody, including a schmo like me, or are you from Willow Springs, or anybody can just come in here, walk through the door, and become a part of this thing. Absolutely. I like to say that it's an eclectic combination of the visual art, which gives it the vibe. There's an energy here that if, if we held it in an empty pole barn, this wouldn't, the same feel would not be here. Drenched in sweat, sleeping like hell. Open stage, no PA, and it allows me to get many, many more performers up. And they just enjoy the chance to play without almost the interference of a sound system. I don't want people to get the impression that it's just professionals oh, who, no. who come and perform, because it really isn't. We have them from all ages. We've had you know, kids perform, and I think as young as 10, maybe even younger. Uh, we've got one guy here who comes here, he's 94 years old, he plays banjo. He played banjo in the Navy band in World War I. You know, the music is, is incredible. You have the, you know, people come here because they love what they do. They do it for 
themselves and for the people here. So it brings it to a whole nother level. Lou Shields is one of the artists exhibiting here at Paul Henry's Art Gallery. You are not just an artist, you're a musician, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll talk more about that later. But your, your artwork, why Paul Henry's and what kind of work do you do? Well, I do uh, work that's based with my music, which is American Roots music. So I do work that's in the theme of um, Americana, I guess you'd say. Is this a unique place for you in that not only are you exhibiting your work here, I mean, your pictures are hanging on the walls, but you're going to go into the next room and, and be able to perform live for people yeah. musically. Yeah, it's, it's like a very wonderful, unique experience that, that happens here that really fortified some of my dreams that I wanted to be able to do that, where I would do a talk, show my artwork, uh, perform my music, speak about the stories behind the songs and how they interlace within some of the works that they're looking at. And uh, this place has helped me to learn how to do that, actually, you know, in, in both sides of the, the space. Why did you start exhibiting at this particular gallery? The local gallery that, that also ties right in with what I do. If you look around, the floors are all old and 100 year old building and ceiling and all these kind of things. And it just really totally works with what I do. I kind of gave up on the four walls that are whitewashed, typical lighting in a gallery and in a space like this kind of really, I think, brings out some of that unique quality that you need with, with some of the work that I do personally. Yeah, I play, um, homemade instruments made out of salvage materials, cigar boxes, foot percussion made out of an old bucket and a skateboard and, and bottle caps and um, uh, license plates and all these different things. And I bet you get some really unique sounds. Oh yeah, it's fun. It's like all kinds of different things and, and uh, I, I travel quite a bit as well all over the country playing music and I go around and I come to these small little towns and uh, I'm inspired by what I see and then I make the work based on that, the artwork, you know. And the songs also come from that stuff too, the travel. And down that road today when I'm driving on that south country where oh got the brand name right. Ain't nothing on left to do with the driving on side with a pretty girl too, yeah. You come down here and you look around and you say, oh, geez, I got a trumpet, I got a saxophone, there's a piano player. Forget those songs. I'm going <laughs> to do something we can jam to. And you get up there and you just have a jam session. You know, and that happens all night long. I even got up there on the stage and was, was you, playing, thank you. You did just fine. <laughs> you did just fine. Was it fun? I had a blast. On Thursday nights, the art capital of the world just might be downtown Hammond, particularly Paul Henry's Art Gallery. Not only have we gotten to see all kinds of art displayed, we've spoken to many artists, we've seen them perform, and I myself got to perform just a little bit with a whole group of people hitting the stage because it's an open stage night. It's a cheap ticket, it's a lot of fun, and it's right here around the lake. Join us next time as we go Jump in the Lake.